The heart of Texas and the very wonderful AT&T Stadium in Arlington. Obviously, they do everything big here in Dallas, and the introduction to the Cowboys, no exception. They're set for football in Big D, as their guys will do battle with the Washington Redskins. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. here on first down pass incomplete Jordan Reed was the intended target that'll bring up second down he's a little trigger happy right there and it turned into an ill-advised throw into their zone well we know he has confidence he'll throw it any place any time anywhere that time it fell incomplete well, once again they'll go from the 23 yard line on second and ten Johnson now to throw again. This one complete to Jordan Reed. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. They got 18 yards out of that one, and it gets him a new set of downs. Looking to throw. Johnson. It's brought in by Jamison Crowder. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. Throwing on first down. Johnson. Josh Doxson's got it complete. Give him nine there on the first down completion. One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the second down. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Now Johnson on first and ten. And he drops this off to Thompson complete. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Three yards is the gain that time. Second and goal. Well, it's tough to be a defender in today's NFL because there's so many things to account for in today's passing game, including the back sneaking out of the backfield. Not quite as bad as a turkey bowl where you have that center eligible stuff. But still, a lot of guys to account for. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the feet. Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. David Irving able to drop him for a loss of two. And that'll bring up fourth down. So now on fourth down, the Redskins will hand things over to their kicker, Dustin Hopkins. And Hopkins' kick is good. And it's 3-0 as the Redskins strike first. So a nice drive on the road. You come in, you take the ball down, you get three points. Yeah, points are a must on an opening drive, right? So they moved it down efficiently, got it done. I think that bodes well for their chances of moving forward in this one. And this return nets positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 27. Prescott to throw it. And this one hauled in by Tavon Austin. And they work this well upfield across the 45. And a nice gain of 21 yards.
And now with the play clock winding down, Jason Garrett opts to take a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. A first down throw for Prescott. Eluding the pressure right. Finding room to the 20. That one complete to Elliott. And finally down at the nine-yard line. 23 yards on the play. His passing's been on point on this drive, hasn't it? Been very accurate, gotten the ball downfield, gained nice chunks of yardage. But now, in this situation, the field is really condensed, partner. So if he's going to throw the football, that would be pinpoint here. As I was going to ask you about that. Field shrinks, has to be sharper, but it's been a good opening drive so far. Now they just want to see if they can cap it off with the bell ringer and put it in the end zone. Here we go, 46, 46. And again, it's Prescott toward the pylon, caught. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Nice gain of eight that time, and it's second and goal. I don't think it's a surprise they're throwing the football early. We expected that. They told us they were going to come out firing, but four for four on the opening drive. They like that. <laughs> they don't just like it. They love it because now everyone gets locked in. Your confidence jumps up. Everyone's easy about what they're doing out there. And by the way, they're looking at the sideline thinking to themselves and expressing, let's keep throwing it. We're doing pretty well. They'll try to run it in with Elliott. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Cowboys. Ezekiel Elliott punching it in from a yard away. And the Cowboys have taken the early lead. Now the try here for the extra point. Extra point right down the middle. Sitting alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon as it is Cowboy football to begin quarter number two, as we'll see one following the score on the final play before break. Now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Washington Redskins season has been an interesting one. Who would have predicted that the way this year has gone for them, they would still be in the hunt for a playoff spot in the final no weeks one. of the year? Nobody. No one. How I mean, could you? Josh Johnson at quarterback, Charles. Yeah, his 12th oh, NFL oh. team had thrown an NFL pass in 2011. And what if he became the guy to lead Washington into the playoffs? No one could have. Jordan Reed, the 40, the 30, 10, 5, touchdown, Washington. Jordan Reed, 75 yards. And the Redskins get the quick strike touchdown. Well, it's a Gruden family trait to be aggressive, and Jay's going to go for two here. to throw. Johnson, and he is into the end zone to bump the lead up two more. And around the goal line, especially on two-point tries, sometimes the QB's best friend is that big target, the tight end. I love how you described it, because you know he's going to have some length and some catch radius, as well as a big body to keep people away from the football. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. 
And a nice job there as he gets this one up just shy of the 35-yard line at the 34. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. Prescott on first down. Oh, a battle for it here, and this will be caught. Give him 30 yards there. That's a big-time pitch and catch right there. And, partner, I remember the days when quarterbacks would try this. They were holding their breath. But nowadays... They're counting on their receiver to be just a little bit better than the defensive back when it's one-on-one -on -one and the ball's in the air like that. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Now a play fake here on first down. He's going to rifle one deep left. And this is caught for a Cowboy touchdown. Jameis Hulawali, 36 yards. And the Cowboys are in for six. And he wasn't blocking or running it there. They tossed it to him. And you remember the good old days when the 49ers were riding roughshod in the league? They used their fullback in pass plays all the time. Roger Craig, Tom Rathman, those guys were terrific at running these types of plays. Point after, right down the middle. And that gives him a three-point lead. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Redskins offense now. They head back onto the field. And following that long touchdown pass, a one-play drive last time, let's see if the defense, you, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. And you would have thought they would have been ready the yeah, last time. That's I mean, true. that's what you work on all the time. Make sure that no one gets behind you. That's the cardinal sin of defense, not giving up the long pass. They did. Let's see how they adjust. Demarcus Lawrence in on the tackle. Peterson, Charles, at age 33. I think when he signed with the Redskins, people were wondering, what would this season be like? Well, it started off pretty good. Yeah, and you remember the reason why they're asking that question. Age 33. Last season. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. A gain of 39 that time. Ohio, Back in the Ohio. first quarter, you said it. They need to avoid the big play, but he just got a big one right there. You can't relax. You know, we talked about in the first quarter, but as the game progresses, there's still opportunities, and he took advantage of one there. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. Second and 10 from the 33-yard line. Ohio! Ohio! Let's go! Grand 38! Grand 38! Here's Johnson. Back to the air on second down. Flush to his right. And his throw is incomplete. They were trying to get it there to Josh Doxson. And it's third down. Sometimes the coverage is so good, no matter what you're doing on offense, you just can't shake anyone free. They try their best to find someone open, but... They took away every passing alley, every angle, and shut the play down. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. brought down but not before he reaches the eight yard line they're able to convert on third down and that sets up a first and goal they'll run with Peterson and he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest game 
He'll get six on the ground there, and it'll be second and goal coming up. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. This Cowboy defense looked ready for that third down pass. Brings up fourth. And Hopkins' kick is good. And that will tie our score at 14. No problems in the field goal department so far. He's two for two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high. This is fielded a couple yards deep. A strong run. <laughs> and he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. And out now come the Cowboys. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. So Prescott to the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 22. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. Wide open, Amari Cooper. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. A minute 57 to go in this first half. We're back to Arlington right after this timeout. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Prescott looks to throw on first. Over the middle, Amari Cooper. It's complete. Touchdown, Cowboys! Two first-half touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott. And the Cowboys are able to show off their quick strike ability. As a fan, is there anything prettier than a well-executed post route? No, it's a thing of beauty, especially when it's done like that for a touchdown. Uh, the throw, the catch, and how about the run after to get it to the end zone? The try here for the extra point. Extra point splits the uprights, and the lead is now 21-14. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Redskins offense now, they get set to take over here. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point <laughs> kicker. Exactly. <laughs> he put it through the post. That's going to help him at contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. Yeah, I don't know if that helped him at contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. Too bad. I don't know about Too that. Bad. Yeah. Super now the first play of the drive there is incomplete. Well, some news that gave us a chuckle, and we could all use that around the holiday season. Josh Johnson, a great story. He was back home in Oakland when the Redskins called to see if he'd like to join him for the remainder of the season. So how did he get to know his new teammates? Well, what did he do? He turned to the Madden game, Charles. Yeah, and that's how you learn who they are, right? Learn what they do, have some tendencies, get some ideas about their speed and what they do well and maybe what they don't do so well. And it really helped him acclimate and got himself a big victory in week 15 against the Jacksonville Jaguars. How about the bloodline of Josh Johnson, though? Also related to Marshawn Lynch of the Oakland Raiders and Marcus Peters of the Los Angeles Rams. Pretty good company. Dancing to his left. Oh, and this ball's tipped and intercepted. Picked off inside the five. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. How, oh, Brandon, this is a veteran quarterback back there. He should know better than to make a throw like this. This is definitely not his best ball. And I think he knew this was trouble the second it was leaving his hand. Here we go. 
46. Following the interception, here's Prescott. Throws it underneath to Elliott. Yeah, he showed off a nice juke of the defender, but the next wave there to bring him down. Call it a three-yard gain, and it's a second down. Back near his goal line, it's Prescott. A dump off to Elliott. And he'll be out of bounds right around the 14. They get nine there, and in the process, escaping their end zone, picking up a first down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. First down, Prescott. Austin's got it left side. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead. As the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. So that changes things. Here's first and 10 all the way up at the 45. To the air again, Prescott. Wide open receiver complete. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. Prescott going to come up first and ten, and he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. Prescott yet again. Over the middle, Cooper with it. And down he goes, taking it inside the ten, just shy of the five at the six. A very solid gain of 27. They'll throw again. Prescott. And that is incomplete. Down to 15 seconds now. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. Prescott from the gun. And that'll be incomplete with 11 seconds remaining now. Amari Cooper, his intended receiver, and it's third down. Two incompletions, haven't moved him any closer. And likely throwing again, you'd have to think, on third and goal here. To throw is Prescott. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. Three touchdown passes.